The tractor. Peppa and George are visiting Mrs Badger's farm. Peppa, George, can you guess what you'll see at the farm today? Dinosaur. <laughs> no, George, there won't be a dinosaur, but there will be a tractor. What's a tractor? They're like cars with big wheels and they can drive through mud. I love tractors. It is a traffic jam. Come on, get a move on. Beeping won't make the cars go any faster, Daddy Pig. We just have to be patient. Oh, what's blocking the road? Mrs Badger is driving her tractor. Thank you for your patience. Hi there, Mrs Badger. <laughs> we were just talking about tractors. Peppa and George have come to see your farm. Oh, good. Follow me. Here is the farm. Danny Dog, Pedro Pony and Susie Sheep are visiting too. <laughs> we'll pick you up later. Have a nice time. Bye-bye. Hello there, my lovelies. Hello, Mrs Badger. No, before I show you the farm, I'd like you all to wash your hands. <laughs> wash, wash, wash your hands, wash them nice and clean. Bubbly, 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 wash them nice and clean. <laughs> Very good. Now, let's have a look at my tractor. Isn't she a beauty? Yes, she's lovely. She's got big, chunky wheels. And a strong engine to pull things along. The tractor is pulling a trailer. Hop in, everybody. Let's go for a tractor ride. Hooray! <laughs> Here is a field of long grass. The field is ready to be cut. You wait here and watch. I put a cutter on the front, a baler on the back, and the tractor does all the work. The tractor is cutting and making bales. Wow! Job done. All thanks to my tractor. The trailer is joined to the tractor again. On with the tour! <laughs> it's very muddy here. Will we get stuck? No! Tractors are good at driving through mud. <laughs> and now we're going to drive along the road. Thank you for your patience. Mummy and Daddy Pig are coming to pick up Pepper and George. Oh, no. We're stuck in a traffic jam again. <laughs> like you said, Mummy Pig, we just have to be patient. Or maybe we could take a shortcut. Uh, are you sure this is a good idea? I know what I'm doing. Mummy Pig is taking a shortcut. Uh -huh. No traffic jam for us. This is brilliant. Oh, I think we're stuck. Look, that's our car. Do you need help? No, thanks. We're fine. Um, we might be a little bit stuck. Perhaps we could use some help. Of course. Hold tight. <laughs> Thank you for rescuing us, Mrs Badger. Don't thank me. Thank my tractor. Oh, yes. Thank you, tractor. Tractors are the best. Pepper loves tractors. Everybody loves tractors. <laughs> Christmas with Kylie Kangaroo. Pepper and her family are going to visit Kylie Kangaroo in Australia. I can't wait to see Kylie. Yes, it's going to be such a brilliant Christmas staying with Kylie's family. You did tell them we were coming, didn't you, Daddy Pig? No, I thought you did. Oh, well, it'll be a nice surprise for them. It is Christmas morning. 
Pepper and her family have arrived at Kylie's house. Hello, Mr Kangaroo. Oh, my goodness. You're all here again. We've come to spend Christmas with you. Um, uh, what an amazing surprise. Here are Mrs Kangaroo, Joey and Kylie. <gasps> Happy Christmas, Kylie. Happy Christmas. Pepper and <laughs> Kylie are such good friends. Well, you've arrived at just the right time. We're off to the beach. The beach? On Christmas Day? Yes. It's always hot here at Christmas time. <laughs> Is everybody ready? Yes. yes. Then let's go. Mr Wallaby is here. Hello, Mr Wallaby. Well, blow me down if it isn't our friends from far away. Happy Christmas. Happy Christmas, Pepper. What are you doing? I'm getting the barbie fired up and ready to cook Christmas lunch. Ooh. We're going to have corn on the cob. Hooray! Hooray! Everyone likes corn on the cob. Christmas on the beach is great. The only thing that would make it better would be snow. But this is Australia, mate. We never have snow at Christmas. Pepper, does it snow at your Christmases? Yes, it always snows. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen real snow. What is it like? Hmm, snow is cold. And snow is fluffy. And when you walk in snow, it is grunchy. Snow sounds so nice. What else can you do with it? Make a snowman. We use sticks for the arms, stones for the eyes and mouth, and a carrot for the nose. <laughs> <laughs> we do the same on the beach, but with sand instead of snow. What? We use sand to make the body and head. Driftwood for the arms. Beach pebbles for the eyes and mouth. <laughs> And a corn cob for the nose. Wow! What could be more Christmassy than that? Ho, ho, ho! <laughs> Pepper has a spade. <laughs> George has a bucket. <laughs> we can make a sand castle on Christmas Day. Ta da! <laughs> Joey has a beach ball. Boing, boing! And Kylie has. Ooh! It's. it's a. what is it? It's a snow globe, Kylie. Yeah, you shake it to make it snow. <laughs> It's snowing! The snow globe is full of gently falling snow. Oh, Struth, that's a wonderful sight. Snow! I've got my own snow! And that was my last delivery this year. Now I can take my boots off and relax. Paddling in the sea on Christmas Day. Yes, what could be better? <laughs> I like paddling. <laughs> I reckon the corn cobs are ready. Tuck in, everyone. Mmm, delicious. Oh, Christmas at the beach is so good. Kylie Kangaroo loves Christmas at the beach. <laughs> everyone loves Christmas at the beach. <laughs> Winter games. Today, Pepper and her family are skiing on Snowy Mountain. <laughs> Which way shall we go? One side of the mountain is a nice, gentle slope. The other side is very, very steep. Well, I certainly don't want to ski down the steep side like I did last time. <laughs> yes, that was quite spectacular. Last year, <laughs> Mummy Pig skied ah! down the mountain. Ah! Past the shops, ah! all the way ah! home. Ah! And she won the Winter Games Cup. <laughs> you skied so well, Mummy. Yes, well, I didn't actually mean to do it, so that's not happening again. Okay. Let's go this way, then. 
<laughs> Daddy, Mummy, Peppa and George are skiing down the gentle slope. <laughs> Here are George's friends, Richard, Edmund, Zuzu and Zaza. George and his friends are skiing together like a long caterpillar. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. It is Susie Sheep. Hello, Susie. I love this bit. It's all wibbly-wobbly. Wibbly-wobbly-woo! <laughs> Here is Mandy Mouse. She has a mono-ski. Hello! Hello, Mandy! Look at me go! <laughs> Here is Danny Dog. He is on a snowboard. Hello, everyone! Hi, Danny! Look at me jump! <laughs> wow! You're all skiing so well! Yes, you're almost as good as Mummy and me. Mr Pig, what is your best ski trick? Can you go backwards? Backwards? I think that's impossible. Yes, I don't think anyone can ski backwards. Ho, ho. <laughs> Everyone has arrived at the bottom of the slope. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> again, again. Yes, let's get the ski lift. This is the ski lift. It takes everyone to the top again. <laughs> Skiing is my most favourite thing in the whole wide world. Oh, Mandy, I thought your favourite thing was cheese. Ah, uh, yes. Cheese is good too. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone is back at the top of Snowy Mountain. Now we ski down again! Yay! Let's go! <laughs> oh, stop! Hang on a moment! Since we're all together, it's a great chance to get a photo. But, Mummy, we want to ski down again. Oh, it won't take a moment. Everyone squish together so I can see you all in the picture. That's good. I just need to go back a bit to get you all in. Uh, Mummy Pig, you know you're standing on the edge of the mountain. Yes, yes. Good. I can almost see everyone now. There. Big smile, everyone! <laughs> what? Here we go again. Mummy Pig is skiing down the mountain backwards. Whoa! Quick, everyone, to the rescue! <laughs> Don't worry, Mummy Pig. We're right behind you. Mummy Pig is skiing past the shops yeah! all the way home. Mummy's going to hit the house again. Ah! I'm never going to stop. And on to the cliff. Oh, Mummy Pig. Mummy skied all the way here. Backwards. Backwards? That is amazing skiing. Here is the Winter Games Cup. Again. Oh, thank you. My mummy's the best at skiing. <laughs> Peppa loves Winter Games. Everyone loves Winter Games. <laughs> Undersea party. It is a lovely sunny day. Peppa is feeding Goldie the fish. Mummy, how old is Goldie? Well, I think she must be almost a year old. When is her birthday? Let's see. Her birthday is tomorrow. Can Goldie have a party? Oh, um, perhaps we can have a little party. Daddy, Daddy, Goldie's having a birthday party. A party for a fish. That's fun. I suppose it will be an undersea party with starfish, treasure and mermaids all in an amazing undersea world. Oh, <laughs> yes. It will be the best party ever. Oh, oh. Daddy Pig, what have you done? It's just a game, isn't it? We're not really having a party. Well, yes, I think we are, and it's tomorrow. Oh, I see. OK, keep calm, don't panic. We'll just get some help. Undersea party. Here we go. Undersea parties, brought to your house by Miss Rabbit. Sounds good. Click here and I'll be straight over. 
Hello. Wow, that was quick. How many days have I got to plan this party? It's tomorrow. No problem. You go to bed. I've got this. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Good night. Right, let's get to work. <laughs> it is Goldie's birthday. Miss Rabbit has made an amazing undersea world with shells, seaweed and big waves on the walls. Wow! <gasps> you did all this in one night? It's unbelievable! Happy birthday, Goldie! <laughs> oh, who can that be? Well, you said it was a party, so I invited everyone! Happy birthday, Goldie! <laughs> This is Penny Polar Bear. I never been to an undersea party. Bye, Penny. Have a lovely time. <laughs> I've made costumes for everybody. You can be a mermaid, Peppa. Thank you. And here is a crab costume for George. Pinch, pinch. I am Susie Octopus. <laughs> I'm Mandy Shark. But I'm not a scary shark. I only eat cheese. <laughs> Penny Polar Bear is a penguin. Grr. Danny Dog is a pirate. Aha! Rebecca Rabbit is, um... I'm a fish finger because I love fish fingers. <laughs> I'm a sea captain and Edmund is a jellyfish. I'm not convinced this costume accurately represents a jellyfish, but I'm not going to spoil the fun. Oh, you all look brilliant. Is everybody ready for the pirate treasure hunt? Yes, yes Miss Rabbit. The first clue is I swim along with a giant tail. I'm the biggest fish in the sea. I'm a... Shark! Almost. I have a giant tail. I'm a... Whale! That's right! <laughs> <laughs> The biggest fish in the sea is a whale. Actually, a whale is not a fish, it's a mammal. Edmund Elephant really is extremely clever. <laughs> OK, last clue. I'm buried treasure and X marks the spot. <laughs> <laughs> Here it is! Hooray! Well done! You found the treasure! It's teeny tiny. That's because it's for a tiny fish. Ah, this is for you, Goldie. <coughs> Happy birthday. <laughs> Happy, Happy birthday, Goldie. Goldie loves undersea parties. Everybody loves undersea parties. <laughs> House. Peppa and her friends are at the playground today. <laughs> I'm a cheeky monkey. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> this is such a great playground. Yes, the children love it. Once they start playing, they never want to stop. Stop! Here is Mr Bull. Stand back, everyone! Mr Bull, what are you doing? I'm digging up the playground! Why are you digging up the playground? So I can make a hole for the concrete. Where do you want the concrete, boss? In the hole. Uh, excuse me, Mr Bull. I think there's been some kind of mistake. We don't want the playground dug up. The playground is perfect as it is. With you in a moment. Just need to get the concrete done. Concrete starts off soft. Soft, soft, hard, moo. And then concrete sets as hard as rock. OK, sorry about the wait. What exactly were you all asking? What are you doing? I've made a concrete base. But why? To put this clubhouse on. <gasps> if you don't want it, I can take it away again. We want it! Actually, that does look quite good. It's got a slide and a swing and all kinds of other fancy stuff. <gasps> Hooray! Let me show you around. 
This is the front door. It looks a bit small, Mr. Bull. That's because it's not for grown-ups, Daddy Pig. It's for children. Wow! Everything is children-sized. Yes, the clubhouse is not too big and not too small, but just right for children. <gasps> There's a toy cooker. The toy cooker is made of wood and has a light that comes on inside. And a toy fridge. It's got plastic cheese inside. There's a telephone. <coughs> Does it work? Well, it's a toy telephone made out of wood, but you can pretend it works. Ring, 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 ring. Aren't you going ring, to ring, answer that? Ring, ring. Hello, Peppa Pig speaking. <coughs> Who is this? Who is it? It is the king of the world. Thank you. Yes, I am busy right now. Goodbye. <laughs> Peppa loves the wooden telephone. <laughs> this is the hatch with a counter. Ooh. It's like a little shop or a cafe. What do you want from our cafe today, Mr. Bull? Um, what have you got? We have pretend coffee or pretend tea. OK. Pretend tea, please. There you go. Have a nice day. Mmm, that hit the spot. <laughs> Mr Bull likes pretend tea. Can we see the rest of the clubhouse now? Of course. Please go up the ramp to the next floor. <laughs> this is the balcony. Now we're as tall as the grown-ups. Yes. <laughs> and off the end of that balcony is the slide. Whee! Whee! <laughs> Thank you, Mr Bull. Whee! You have done a very good job. Oh, I must admit, it is quite good. Three cheers for Mr. Bull! Hip, hip! Hooray! Hip, hip! Hooray! Hip, hip, hip! Hooray! Ooh, you are most welcome. Ooh, it looks lovely and cosy. Can I go inside? No, Mummy. Grown-ups are not allowed. But could us grown-ups just have a quick look inside? No, Daddy. Why not? Because the clubhouse is for children. <laughs> Peppa loves the clubhouse. All the children love the clubhouse. Detective club. Peppa and her friends are playing in their clubhouse. <laughs> Let's play detectives. This is our detective club, and we will solve mysteries. Ooh. We have to find a mystery. Yes, we can use the telephone. Hello? We are important detectives, and we need a mystery. They said go outside. But that's a wooden telephone. It doesn't work. We're playing a game, Susie. Ah, oh, OK. <laughs> Daddy, we are a detective. Club. That sounds lovely. We solve mysteries. Fantastic. Uh, only problem is it's actually time for us to go home. Oh, but I want to play some more. You can come back to the clubhouse tomorrow. OK, Daddy. Bye, Peppa. Bye. Bye. Oh, the car's locked. Daddy Pig cannot open the car door. Uh... And I don't seem to have the key. Until I've found my key, we can't go home. Hooray! We can play more. <laughs> Come back to the detective club, Peppa. <laughs> uh, I wonder if your detective club can help me find my key. Yes, that's a real mystery. OK, <laughs> we'll help you, Daddy. Thank you. The key must be somewhere around here. If we all crawl around looking on our hands and knees, we might find it. No, we are detectives. We do not crawl around on our hands and knees. I see. We have clever ways to do things. Maybe there's a way to open the car without a key. Um, we could ring the police. Yes, they can open locked cars. Phone the police. This is the police station. Slow day today. If only we had something to do. <sighs> Phone the police? That's brilliant. 
Uh, only problem is, where have I put my phone? It's in the car! Daddy Pig's phone is locked inside the car. That's not good. <laughs> Grumpy Rabbit, can I use your phone? Sorry, old chap, I left my phone at home. But looks like there's a phone in the clubhouse. Fantastic! Uh, how do I use this thing? It's a toy phone. It's made of wood. Let me have a go. I do have quite a loud voice. Grumpy Rabbit has the loudest voice in the world. Help! Someone's calling for help. We've got ourselves a job. To the police car. Did someone shout for help? Yes, we've got an emergency. What kind of emergency? Flood, earthquake, tornado? Um, I'm locked out of my car. Daddy can't drive us home. Good thing you called us. That was our idea. Good work, children. We'll take it from here. Daddy Pig, where is your car key? I've lost it. Key is lost. This might sound very silly, but have you looked in all the obvious places, like your pockets? My key! Daddy Pig's key was in his pocket. That's funny. I didn't even know I had pockets. Mystery solved. All thanks to the quick thinking of these young children. We are detectives. And this is our clubhouse. Very smart. I wish we had a clubhouse. We do. It's called the police station. Yes, but the police station doesn't have a slide or a swing. Yes, our clubhouse is the best in the whole world. <laughs> Pepper and her friends love the clubhouse. Everyone loves the clubhouse. Clubhouse shop. Pepper and her friends are playing in their clubhouse. <laughs> what game should we play today? Let's play shop. Yay! Shop, 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 shop! The clubhouse has a counter, like a little shop. What are we going to sell? We've got toy plastic fruit and cheese in the fridge. The little shop is open. Ho, ho, ho. What can we buy? Plastic fruit and plastic cheese. Can I have some plastic cheese, please? Yes, Mummy. And maybe a plastic apple to go with it. Thank you. That will be a lot of money, please. Oh, dear. I didn't bring any money with me today. That's OK. You can use these buttons. Lovely. Here are two buttons. Thank you. <laughs> have a nice day. What else do you sell? Um, we've got my toy, Owly. Twip to woo! OK, I'll buy Owly. Here is a button. Thank you. Now Owly is yours. Ooh, it's lovely and cuddly. Can I have Owly back now? What? But I've just bought it for a button. It's just a pretend shop, Mummy. Oh, of course. Owly! Susie Sheep loves her toy, Owl. Oh, I'm feeling thirsty. Do you have any fruit juice? Um, no. Sorry, Daddy. But we can order some in. The clubhouse has a toy wooden telephone. Hello. We need fruit juice. Thank you. Goodbye. They said we'll have their fruit juice tomorrow. Oh, I see. OK. See you tomorrow. Have a nice day. Next. Have you got any cakes? Yes, Mummy. We've got a cake in the toy oven. The toy oven is made of wood and has a light that comes on inside. What kind of cake do you want it to be? Um, can it be a carrot cake? OK, it's a carrot cake. That looks delicious. I can't wait to try it. <sighs> it's a plastic toy cake, Mummy. It's not real. Of course. And how much does it cost? One button, please. Have a nice day. Next. What else are you selling in your shop today? Um, 
We've got magic clothes. Oh, are they invisible clothes? Yes, they are made with the finest cloth. Fantastic! I'll look like an emperor. They cost five buttons. Very expensive. But I suppose that's what you have to pay for invisible clothes. You can try them on if you like, Mr Pig. Leave your old clothes here. Thank you, but I think I'll try them on at home. Have a nice day. That was quite a cue. Now it's finally my turn. I'd like to buy a... Sorry, Daddy, we're closing. Bye. Have a nice day. <laughs> it is time for the children to take a break. It is hard work running a shop. Here is Mr. Labrador in his ice cream van. <laughs> Hello, children. What can I get you? Ice cream, please. Ice cream, ice cream. Thank you. <laughs> Here is the money. Hang on. These are just buttons. The buttons are pretend money. Of course. Pretend money. How charming. Oh, oh, I'm afraid I haven't got any real money either. No problem, Mr Pig. We take cards. So, that's all the children's ice creams. And one for you. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best clubhouse in the whole wide world. Pepper and her friends love the clubhouse. Everyone loves the clubhouse. <laughs> <laughs>